Welcome to a print and let's play of Teen Island, which is a game that I wrote many, many years ago. Um, I wrote about it recently on, on the blog, um, talking a little bit about the, the history behind it, how when I wrote it, I didn't realize this sort of game really existed. So it was kind of like, I didn't really know what I was making. And I've recently revisited it and thought, can this be salvaged? And the answer is maybe. Um, it is a, print and play is probably the best comparison. It's kind of a, a solo game that you can play sort of cooperatively with the group, but it's, it's, it's closer to print and play than anything else. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it interactively. I believe we are having some streaming issues, <clears throat> typically, but, and we've got about a 30 second delay, I think. So it's gonna be a bit awkward with the interaction. So you're gonna to need to shout your answers out quickly when I ask for advice and tips. Because 30 seconds is a long time for me to wait <laughs> for an answer. So I will do my best to sort of ask a question and then give a nice sort of answering period. Um, but yeah, let's dive into it. Um, here we go. So we have Teen Island. Revised edition. On an overseas trip to the International High Schooler Summit, 12 teenagers find themselves stranded on a remote island with no sign of human life. And you'll notice I have a spinner, which is very exciting. So, as it says, yeah, the, the t-shirt isn't, this isn't just a radical fashion choice on my part. I would not ordinarily be wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Um, <laughs> this is very much, this is, this is the kind of razzmatazz that I need to bring to the stream to keep things alive. Um, I was talking about my stream today with my partner and I was saying like, you know, all these people do these streams and it's all very high action and it's like swish. Whoosh, and it's like, yeah, what up everyone? Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all this stuff. I've said like, I'm, I feel like I'm making a deliberate choice to go for the more low key. Um, don't want to say, I'm going to say amateur. Amateur chic is what I'm going for. But the Hawaiian shirt is a nod to the kind of showmanship that I uh, I am lacking. So you are, well, we are. We are in control of a group of 12 high school aged children. Um, the original sort of pitch for this game was Breakfast Club meets Lord of the Flies. So we're teenagers and they have crashed on a desert island and we've got to survive get food, get wood, improve the camp. And then eventually if our camp gets good enough and we don't all die, we might be able to launch a raft off into the, um, into the ocean. And yeah, launching your raft is a tense moment because that table that you roll on is quite cruel. Um, so we'll go through all this when I go onto it, but a typical day, um, We'll, we'll go through it as we go. But the, the best thing about this is the castaways. So we're gonna randomly generate 12 castaways for our island. Um, I'm using a new piece of software that I know there's lots of pieces of software being released for role-playing games, tabletop games. It's becoming a very high-tech um, high sector, really. Um, and I really wanted to stay up to date with this. So I'm using Microsoft WordPad here. It's, if you like Notepad, it's a little bit like Notepad, but, but with all the latest added features. So this is our, um, this is our island. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this file because that's, that's a recipe for disaster. So let's save our file first. And then, yeah, we've got um, we've got our island here. So we currently have no food, no wood, no camp, no notes to speak of. And the thing that I didn't put in here is that we need to keep track of what day it is as well. So it's gonna be day one. Um, but our castaways, this is the fun bit. You can just like turn off the stream after this. This is like the, this is the highlight, really. It's like the character creation and all the other games that I do. 
So we're just going to roll 12 d6, and each d6 is going to be one of the castaways, and it's going to tell us what their strength is. And I don't mean strength score, like their strength. So is their strength that they are sporty, smart, social? Have they got spunk? Um, I, was, I was a slave to having them all begin with S here. So they're not the best names in the world. But I decided to stick with it. I, I didn't want to go in and revise it and try and make it like good by today's standards. So it's still a bit crap. But you've got your, your four different strengths. Or they might have a weakness. Or they might have two strengths. Which is has some interesting results. So let's just do it. And oh, before I start rolling these. First thing I'm going to need is 12 names for our castaways. So you could each give me one name. I can see we've got 11 viewers. So if you're thinking, I'll just wait and let someone else do it. No, you all need to come up with a name. Otherwise, we're going to have to, it's going to, it's just going to fall apart. We'll have to end the stream. So you can each give me a name for your castaway. It could be your name. If you're using a screen name, I would like it to be like a name. So we could have like a, a name that someone would use in real life. So it can be your name or just a name that you like. Let's roll. 12 D6, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, okay, I can see we've only got one, one, which is good because one is bad. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take my time and have a sip of my tropical ginger beer because um, I'm gonna be waiting for these names to come in. Astral disasters is first in. I don't think our delay is that bad. I don't think it's thirty seconds. So, unfortunately, astral disasters by giving me Ruby as this first name. The first person on this list is a one, which means they get a weakness instead. So we will do Ruby. And Ruby has a weakness, which we will come back to. Um, so they're gone. Uh, we'll come back to the sixes as well. Any twos? So we've got no twos. So we've got no, no spunky, like... Uh, castaways so no rebels wearing leather jackets and throwing rocks it's a bunch of squares on this island uh, three is social we have one two three with social so let's put them in so these originally well you'll see originally some of the things that I changed when in the revision were I wanted it to be I want it to be like archetypal, like archetypical, like high school film cliches. So you've got like the nerds and the jocks. I originally had like the teenagers, uh, the teenagers, the, the cheerleaders as the social like clique, but it didn't really, it's it's not especially, it's a bit too weighted in one direction, I think. Um, I wanted to keep it a bit broader. Um, but we've got three social um, castaways who will be Connor, Thanks to Alter POV. Oso Taki gives us Gilligan. And uh, Captain Lucky Luke gives us Anya. So these are our three social castaways. Now, if you ever have a group of two or more castaways that have the same strength, they form a clique. So the clique that is, I'm gonna keep going between saying clique and clique because I never did decide how to say that. Um, if you have three with social, then you get the populars. So they are the most tight knit of all cliques and do everything together. They will not work on any jobs where they're not together. And if there are three or more populars, one of them will gain the fussy weakness. Right, that's bad. So let's put these under there. Click. So these are the populars and they must work together. They won't let themselves get split up. Okay, fine. Um, and one of them is going to be fussy, which means they're going to be a bit arsy about what they eat, which is not great on a desert island when you're trying to survive. So this is why I have the spinner. So which of our popular castaways is fussy? It's number one, and that's Connor. Connor, you are fussy. Okay, so that's our first click. Uh, so we've done threes, we've got fours. One, two, three, four fours. Wow, two, three, 
Four. So four is smart. So we've got a bunch of nerds on this island. I should have known. Always the way. It feels it feels right, you know. So our four nerds are Wilson. Uh, thanks to Mech Arm or Me Charm. I prefer Mech Arm. Uh, Lou Logic is giving me two. I admire your sheer disregard for the rules that are set. So I'm going to take them both. Barnaby and Amari. Now, I need more names. So if you've already given me names, keep them coming. We'll come back to this nerd. Just, just throw names in now and we'll take them. But when you have nerds, any nerd will have a weakness unless they're all a four plus after they join the click. So you can call me a, oh my God, I've, I've done this all wrong. Their strength is smarts. And their group is nerds, their click is the nerds. So each of these has to roll four plus or else they're gonna get a weakness. So let's, um, let's th throw some dice. Um, how am I going to do this? I'll just do it here and take the last four out. So what? Ah! What did I just do? I'm pretty sure we had two sixes and a five. So let's let's write those down. Already fallen apart. So we had a five, a six, and a six. And that will give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It was two of each, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. So I've ruined our dice, but that's fine because I remember. So the nerds. Ah, oh, what a bunch of alpha nerds we have here. All four of them are shaking the stereotype. It's it's very telling. When I wrote this game, it was perhaps a different time. And these cliches of the nerds being, you know... They're not the people you want to hang around with. And I say that as someone who is very much in that camp. Um, instead, now, the nerds are proving that they are the king. That's It's beautiful to see. So our nerds are actually fantastic, and they're not going to be a, not going to be a problem. Um, Captain Lucky Luke has Luca. He can be a nerd. So then, I'm going to put these names in. We've got Fabio and Dexter as our uh, number fives. So number five is sports. So we're gonna have just a pair of jocks here. So the jocks, again, I, I said about shaking the stereotypes. The jocks all count as having the jerk weakness when they work on a job with non-jocks. So Fabio and Dexter, if they're working together as a pair, they're gonna get stuff done. But if you put them on with anyone else, they're just going to be a jerk. So it's a bit annoying. We're going to have to find something that they can do on their own and not piss everyone else off. Now, our sixes our our special members of the group. They are going to have two strengths instead. So I get to choose one and roll again. And if you roll like a double, they're going to get a weakness instead. So I think we should definitely have someone with spunk. And then what should we have for the next one? I'm going to do this spunk uh, castaway first. But should we have social smarts or sports for the other castaway? Our last castaway. We've already got a lot of smarts, but we could just lean into that and become like the, the full on island of the nerds. Um, so let's see what's the second strength for this uh, spunk castaway. Three. Spunk and social. Now, sometimes when you've got a combination of two strengths, you'll get a special that has... Um, <laughs> I can already see what we've got. A special castaway that has a special effect on the group. And I can see Spunk and Social. Spunk and Social is the dream. The dream boat. This person is so captivating that every other castaway must roll a 4 plus or take the crush weakness for them. Oof. Okay. So anyone that doesn't roll a 4 plus is going to have a crush on this. Um... 
Ada. I feel bad for Ada. She's the dream. Um, well, she's going to go up with the um, the non-click castaways. So, yeah, let's roll. One, two, we need one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we need 11, don't we? But we don't know who this one's going to be yet. So let's roll 11 D6 and see. Uh, one. I'll just get them ready, then I'm going to roll them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's roll them. Boof. Um, so castaway number one. We'll have a crush. So Ruby, to go with your weakness, you got a crush on Ada. Um, so one, two is fine. Three is fine, four is fine. Castaway number five. So one, two, three, four, five. Wilson. Wilson's got a crush on Ada, I'm afraid. And then no, yes. So Wilson and Amari are both having a crush on Ada. And then we skip three and then one more. So um, one, two, three. So this last one is gonna have a crush. On Ada. I think I messed that up slightly, but we'll take it. Um, okay, so we have a, a very dreamy castaway. Ada the Dream. Um, and we need one more name. Uh, Louis Logic has said we'll, we'll give this person a social. I'm fine with that. We need a name for them. I'm going to roll their secondary strength. Five, social and sports. You see where this is going? The prom king or queen. So let's do a uh, one to three. It's a king. Four to five. It's a queen. Oh well, no. You know what? We'll go off the name. So someone give me the name for this prom prom monarch. So we've got social, sports, and what is the prom? Is, is Humbug the name? Lord Blackfang? The name of the prom monarch? I'll take it. Um, so they are a natural leader. Um, Always happy to chip in with extra work. Each day, they may be assigned to two job teams and they contribute to both. So they are, it's like having two people. It's, it's great. Um, so that is our group of castaways. We've got some mishma mismatch here of a, a prom, prom monarch. Oh, we didn't roll Ruby's weakness. Sorry, Ruby. I've been neglecting Ruby all this time. What is Ruby's weakness? Number three. Oh, Ruby is a slacker. So they will only work each day if they can roll a four plus. It's, it, that's a bad one. So it's like a prom lord. Yeah, humbug the prom lord. So, so far we've got a big old group of nerds. We've got Ada, who everyone has a crush on. We've got Ruby, the slacker. Humbug, the prom lord. Some populars. And some jocks. So let's see if we can keep them alive and get them off the island. So I think that's everything we need to do for like creation. Yeah. So then we've got like a, a sample day here. Um, if today is a weekly event day, roll a weekly event. Um, this would have been a good place to put what is a weekly event. It is when there is a day seven or any multiple of seven. But I should have put that up further up here. Um, so a typical day, if it's day seven, 14, 21, we're going to roll a weekly event. If not, we can decide whether or not to launch the raft. We're not going to be doing that for a while. And then you assign job groups. So the jobs 
are gathering food, working the camp, and chopping wood are the three jobs. Uh, food is obvious, you need food to live, so it's worth getting lots of food early on. Uh, wood is used on the campfire, and you want to keep the campfire lit or else bad things start to happen. And wood is also used to build the camp. So my advice tends to be on the, the building of the camp is like the, the least important job to begin with. We want to have a good amount of people on wood and a good amount of people on food. So I think we're going to put, seeing as these two jocks just need to get on with it, we're going to put the jocks on uh, camp duty. Um, for food, everyone else is kind of is going to get on with it. Like Ruby's a slacker, so I think. Well, the, the populace have to. You know, we'll, we'll put the populace on food with these randoms here, and then on wood, we'll do the nerds. So we've got a good focus on food this week. This this on this day a bit of wood and a bit of work in the camp um, so let's do it so we're going to see if any of the any of the um, effects kick in so the only effect that we need to be checking each day is we need to check if where's our slacker if Ruby is going to slack off for the day she needs to roll a 4 plus to not slack off um, Ruby is straight away slacking so I'll put a little hashtag next to hers so that we know she's not working. Oh, hang on, hang on. I didn't I didn't talk about crushes, did I? Crushes are going to pr prove to be a problem in this uh in this group. Um so it's fine actually. It's not as bad as I thought. So for crushes, if a castaway has a crush on another, if that castaway ever spends the day resting, then the castaway with the crush will stay and look after them. So heaven help us if Ada ever ends up starving or injured or anything like that, because everyone will want to stay back and look after her until she gets better. And the crushes also kick in on events as well. There's lots of events that come up that are based around crushes. So that's not gonna be the last we hear of it, but at least we don't have to check anything. Um, so. Our slack is slacking, uh, and when we eat later, we'll just have to check if our fussy, where's our fussy person, Connor, whether he's going to eat, eat the food that we found, or if he deems it below him. So what we do for each of the jobs, um, do we do it in this order? Yeah, sure. So I should probably put wood ahead of food. Um, So what you do is um, for the jobs, you roll a D6 and you add one for each person that's on, on the job. So for wood, we're gonna roll D6 and add four. If you get, say we get a three, that will be three plus four, which means we're gonna get seven wood for our camp. Same for food, same for camp duty, but it's camp, camp is a bit different, but we'll get to that. Um, However, if you roll a one on any of these rolls, then you get an event. And events are sometimes bad, sometimes good, usually bad. So we don't want to be rolling a one. So, wood roll. Let's do it. Oh, tell you what. These nerds are on it. So they rolled a six and they're getting a, they've got plus four. So that's 10 wood. I'm aware that I've just put that in the wrong one. Let's let's put this in the right order or else I will make that mistake every single time. So wood 10, beautiful. Um, food, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and Ruby's not doing anything. Oh, and we must remember that Humbug can work two jobs. So we'll put Humbug on, ah, well, tell you what, we'll, we'll, say, we'll say Humbug went out with the wood as well. So it was actually 11. Uh, f food, we've got five here. So we're going to be rolling a d6 plus five. It's 
straight onto the one. And you know what? I'm kind of glad because the events are where the, where the fun happens. So we rolled a one. So we might still get that food. So how much did we get? One, two, three, four, five. So we were due to get six food, but instead we're going to roll an island event. So camp events are for something different. Island events are for out when you're out gathering wood or food. So it is a D66 roll. Number 34. Bear. Straight in with the bear. So like these these guys have just landed on the island. And they've barely managed to like barely managed to get their bearings. barely manage to get their bearings on this island when the bear storms them and attacks them. A bear storms out of the woods and the group flees. Characters with sports automatically escape. Um, none of our nerds have sports, do they? So it's just... No, no, it wasn't nerds. It was... Oh, well... Okay, Humbug, Humbug escapes because he's got sports. So he's fine. Every other character rolls a die. The lowest gets caught and mauled to death by the bear, even if this is more than one. And the attack is so shocking that no work gets done. <laughs> Shit. So we've got no food. And at least one of these people is going to die straight away. So we've got one, two, three, four, because Ruby's not there. Is Ada going to die straight away? So we're going to roll, we're going to spin a four sided spinner for maximum suspense. No, no, sorry, it's not. It's not a four-sided spinner. Okay, let's get our dice ready. This isn't the roll. Uh, so we're going to roll for each of them, and whoever gets the lowest gets eaten by the bear. But if there's a tie, those tied characters all get eaten. One, two, <laughs> three, four. And character number four, castaway number four, is... One, two, three... Ada, R.I.P. So, <laughs> I love that um, all of these nerds and uh, misfits, they landed on the island and they thought, well, this is terrible, but at least, at least this, this dreamy <laughs> classmate of mine who I've got a crush on is here and who knows what might happen. And then day one, she gets eaten by a bear. So she is dead, and there is no food. It's a good start. Um, right, what happens? Is there something about when when somebody with a crush and their crush dies? I don't think that's a thing. I think uh, that was something that I took out because it was getting a bit fiddly. Um, no, that's not a thing. So they're all going to get over their crush pretty damn quick because she's bare food now. Gone, gone, gone. Yeah, morale is broken. It's it's not gonna be <laughs> it's not gonna be a great start to this island. Ruby's thinking, I'm glad I stayed back at the camp. So we're down to eleven castaways. We have no food, but we have plenty of wood. Let's see what um what the the jock who's who's on camp duty the jock sorry I'm in shock here the jocks we've got two of them they're on camp duty let's do a d6 plus one no plus two sorry for them what's happening at the camp four so that means they can use up to four wood to build the camp well not up to they use four wood so they use four wood and our camp value goes up to four now. We need to get the camp value to 25 to be able to launch the raft. So yeah, we're, we're, in, we're in for a tough ride. So just for reference here, six is basic shelters and clear ground for sleeping. So at the moment, they've just managed to like get rid of a few leaves and not, not done much else. Um, so that is all the jobs. Return to the camp and eat food. That would be great if we had any food. But we don't. So what happens is... The first day that somebody um, doesn't eat, they're hungry, and that's fine. They're going to carry on. If they don't eat the next day, 
then they go from hungry to starving. And when they're starving, they can't do any work. And if they don't eat when they're starving, the next day they die. So everybody being hungry is, is kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie. Put these little H's here, just so we know. Ruby, I kind of respect that she didn't go. Go kid, glad you're enjoying the book. This is this is very different to Electric Bastion Land, as you can see. Um, so, that's day one. And the last thing we do is light the campfire. So, campfire, let me um, remind myself here, you just roll d6 and you burn that much wood, but if you roll a one, it means there's gonna be a camp event. And if there's not enough wood, they just burn down the camp instead. Okay, cool. So this is the one roll that we want to be low because how much wood do we throw onto this campfire? It's one, which is good because we're only gonna burn one wood, but it's bad because it means it's a camp event. So that's another random event on day one. It's a rough day. Let's see. Camp event number 21. Uh, here we go. <laughs> a productive day. The group may reroll their job roll and add smarts and sports. So that's only useful if you roll this <laughs> when you're actually working a job. It's no good <laughs> when you're uh, doing it in the evening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reroll the event because that's just bad game design. I should say this game is free on itch.io so I'm completely absolved from any uh, criticism or analysis of its quality. It is exactly as good as it should be for a free itch.io game. 35, let's have that one instead. Confrontation. <sighs> if there isn't at least one castaway with a crush present then ignore this event. If there is they confront each other in a dramatic way and neither contribute to their job. Check tomorrow to see if it's permanent. Uh, so this would have been great if the person with the crush hadn't just died. So I'm going to take this as a sign that we're getting away with it today. We're not, we're not having a, a, a camp event. And that's a day. So we will go, go to bed, waking up hungry. Let's do it. I think... So astral disasters uh ruby no ruby's fine she slacked off from going out to get food yesterday but the rest of the food patrol got savaged by a bear so she she kind of did the right thing um so let's see will will she will she go out into the woods today no she won't and i can't say i really argue No, sorry, we've only had one bear attack. We've only had one day. Um, so, let's roll some jobs. Let's get the pace up. Wood. Five. Plus five, ten wood. These nerds are just getting on with it. It's, it's going to keep wanting to make that bold, so I can't be bothered to argue with that, if that's what it wants to do. Um, food. We've got four present. I feel like I should... Oh, you know what? I didn't even think, but let's... Oh, see, I kept all the jobs the same, but we're going to need a lot of food today because everyone's hungry. Um, I think... Oh, So what's? let's see what it means to be a jerk again because I feel like we should get everybody else on food just for today. When a jerk is on a task, if they're all a one or two, they only one cast away so much that they both end up... Yeah, so it's, it's probably going to be fine. So today... No one's on camp duty. We're going to have Fabio and Dexter on food. So let's see. Can they both avoid being a jerk? They need three plus to actually get on with their jobs. No. So they basically cancel each other out. So Fabio is going to... Well, it was who was it? Yeah. Dexter wants to get on with it, but Fabio is being a jerk. So they're just going to annoy each other too much. So... That's fine. So we've got four castaways working this job. 
1d6 plus 4. We could do with a big roll here. I'll take that. 9 food. That's good. We need food to live. Top tip. And then no one's working the camp, so we don't need to roll. Awesome. So it's kind of a survival day today. Uh, food. No. What do we do first? Who wrote this game? It's a mess. Um, so yeah, you eat food first. So fussy people. Connor is fussy, which means each day he will only eat food that is available on a roll of four plus, but he'll always eat when he's starving. You know what, Connor, you're not... Oh, but... Oof. So if Connor becomes starving tomorrow, then all of the other populars are going to stay back at the camp with him. Let's try and feed Connor. So let's see. He needs a four plus to eat the food. Eat the food, Connor. Yes. I've never doubted you. So he used one food to feed Connor. And then we've got like eight food left. So let's keep these populous federals. It's going to be a nightmare. So that's one for Connor. Two, three, four. Ruby, no way. Five, six, seven, eight. And hum that's just a duplicate of Humbug because he's working two jobs. So I'm not saying I'm favoring the nerds here, but I am because the nerds just get stuff done. The populars, it's too much trouble if they go starving because it's going to cause a nightmare. Humbug is the prom lord. Of course, we need to feed the prom lord. Ruby, I'm not saying I want you to die, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, and Fabio and Dexter are just acting like a waste of space at the minute. So I'm hoping this will be the moment when they turn themselves around and stop being jerks. However, it does mean they're going to be starving. So Ruby, Fabio and Dexter are all starving. Um, which isn't good. Um, no, hang on. I should have been able to feed... I fed one too few people there. So, you know what? I'll feed, I'll feed Fabio, because it's not his fault. Ruby and Dexter are going to be the ones going hungry. And that's all our food gone. Now, burn the campfire. Okay, so we're just going to burn one wood, which is good, but we are also going to have a camp event. Let me just check something. Okay, 61 on the camp. Oh, okay. Let's go in. I'll get us off this island. Rather than work, one of the castaways has decided to focus all their efforts on a raft of their own. From today onwards, they are unable to be given jobs as they are working on their own raft. If they are part of a clique, they assist every day. Each day, roll and add the number of people working on the raft. On a 7 plus, it's completed and the castaway and the helpers make a break for it. Rolling on the raft table immediately, but ignoring the camp badge. So, there's going to be a, a schism. One group is going to go off or rather one individual is going to go off and try and make their own raft. And let's let's take Humbug off there to avoid confusion. And let's do the spin. And they're going to take their clique with them. I'm going to do this one by hand because it feels like a it feels like a big moment. Whew. Oh no. I don't like this. Number one. Wilson. <laughs> oh, so the nerds. So Wilson goes off to make his own raft. And he takes the nerds with him. So they are not going to be able to do any jobs while they're building this raft. I mean, I can't blame them. So it's going to launch when it reaches seven. 
Okay. Uh, what happens then? So it... So they're going to make a break for it. But if they fail, I'm going to say they just rejoin the group. So we have no nerds now to help us with the wood. Um, so it's day three. It feels like we've been here in an absolute eternity already. Um, okay. We, we need food. We've got quite a lot of wood. Let's just get on with it and see what we can do. So let's send the jocks on their own to get some wood. And then the populars and humbug. Well, humbug can go with. There's no point sending him with jocks because he's just gonna. Well, you know, humbug can work the camp because he can do two jobs, can't he? Which is actually quite useful now. So on wood. Well, let, let's do up the nerds first. So the nerds are gonna roll their. Um, oh, my Okay, yeah, so they just need, it's just whether it's finished or not. So, three plus four. They've, they've, built, they've built the raft in one day. And they're going to launch it immediately. So, like, the start of day three, the nodes have had enough, and they're already, like, going out on their own raft. Now, the raft table is kind of brutal. Uh, this is not where the, the raft table is. Normally you would build up to this and you would get a high enough camp value that you have like a nice bonus to this roll because it's it's kind of horrible. Here we go, launching the raft. So we're going to roll D66 with no modifier to see what happens to the nerd's raft. Uh, after hours of sailing, the raft has begun to fall apart, and the journey is abandoned. The castaways return to the island, and their camp value is reduced to six. There is still time in the day to attempt jobs. So they've gone, built the raft, tried it, but failed. So the rest of the jobs are still going to go ahead, but they slink back to the camp with their tails between their legs. And you know, this is probably about the best result we could have gotten, because we need those nerds. Wood. Two. So that's two plus two, four wood for from the jocks. Food. Four. That's okay. So food we had one, two, three, four. We had five in theory, so that's nine food, but I didn't check if Ruby was slacking, did I? <laughs> Ruby works for the first time in her life. Oh, no, she's oh she's starving. I forgot about that. Okay, forget that. <laughs> Ruby doesn't work. But we've got eight food. Oh, I should have had one less one less wood because Dexter was starving. Okay, cool. Um, Humbug is working the camp on their own. A one. What happens to Humbug? 31. Shoddy worksmanship. The camp shelter falls down. Reduce camp value by 10. <laughs> okay. Cat value is now zero. <laughs> and what happens? Roll and add smarts. Does so this is the first roll where we've had this. So when it says add smarts, it means add the number of smarts that you have in that group. So if the nerds were on a job, you would add four smarts. If um Humbug social sports, he doesn't have any smarts. So he's just gonna roll with no modifier. That is a six, that's beautiful. Oh, and a six, the new shelter is significantly grander than the previous one, adding D6 to the camp value in addition to any other work. So 
we rolled a one. We got plus one because there's one person on it, and we're gonna roll a d6. So, <laughs> has he rebuilt it like to exactly what it was? Wait, I feel like we're in purgatory here. Is this like um? Is this the lost island? Um. Anyway, we're gonna come back and we're gonna have some food because we can finally feed our starving people. So we've got eight food. So we'll do um, eight food. We're gonna do one to Dexter and one to Ru one to Ruby. Um, let's let's pull it, Alex. The people are fed. Ruby and Dexter. Um, the nerds. You know, I know they tried to escape, but it's fine. They they can all eat. Um, and that leaves me with two. I'm not going to try... Yeah, I'm going to try and feed Connor because he should eat when he can. No, he's not going to eat. But Gilligan and Anya, they can both eat. So we have Connor, Humbug, um, and Fabio are going to be hungry. But the main thing, no one is starving, which is good. We've got a full workforce here. And I think tomorrow, let's change things up a bit because I, I think let's put the nerds on food. Um, let's let's do the. Oh, we've got to burn some wood. Burn some wood. Ah, oh. it's going to be another camp event. 15 quicksand whoa okay 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 well let's 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 burn our wood first quicksand part of the camp begins to sink into the ground reducing the camp value by eight all that work <laughs> gone um roll for each castaway present adding sports and spunk on a one to two they are sucked into the ground and lost So let's just <laughs> go down. So we need to roll 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, no, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So let's, let's do this one at a time. So Wilson with a 2. Wilson, I'm sorry. You tried to escape the island on your own boat and you're going into the RIP section. I should put how they died here. Killed by bear. Eaten by quicksand. Um, Barnaby, you're fine. Amari, you're fine. Fabio, you're fine. Dexter, fine. Connor, Gilligan, Fine, Anya, you are gone. Oof, it's it's a bloodbath here, look. Anya is gone. Um Oh no, Humbug's gone. Even with his plus one for sports. Humbug. We hardly knew you. Um, Gilligan is gone. No, hang on. That was that was. Was that Ruby? You know, what, I'm, I'm going to say that having three people in my quicksand is fine. Um, so it's fewer mouths to feed. We've got a lean group now. Um, <laughs> yeah, F in chat for Ada the dream. Well, Ada was already gone. Wilson, Anya, and Humbug, you are all gone. Our castaways are now three nerds. The two jocks have survived. Two of the populars. Connor, I wish Connor had gone. Connor is an absolute liability. And Ruby, the slacker, is still here. Somehow. She clings on. So that was day three. Will we make it to day seven is what I want to know. 
to get a weekly event or will we be wiped out before then? Um, okay, it's a new day. Is Ruby gonna slack off? No, she doesn't. Let's think about this. Oh, I've used all the food. So we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight castaways left. So it'd be good to have like four people, three people on food will probably get us like an average of like six or seven food, which is enough to feed most of the group. So let's have the three nerds on food, two jocks on wood, and then the populars and Ruby can be on the camp because we need to start building this camp. Okay, cool. So we've got three, two, and three. So, food roll, two. It's not great. Five food, oh no. Five food. I know I've done this the wrong way around. Doesn't really matter. Wood. Okay, four wood. We've got loads of wood, that's not a problem. Uh, and then the camp. Oh. Right. What has happened? What have you fucking done this time? 25 on the camp events. Hailstones. Rock hard hailstones beat down on the camp. All present must roll and add spunk and sports. On a 1 to 3 they're bruised, so they must spend some more resting in addition to doing no work today. So, spunk and sports. Um, none of these people have any spunk or any sports. So they need to roll a four plus or else it's gonna be a pain. Okay, Connor, I should have known. Connor is bruised, which means he won't do any work tomorrow. And because he is in the populist clique, Gilligan is gonna not do any work either because they can't be separated. So they are out of action tomorrow. Um, However, the other two do get on with it today, so we do get to use one plus two. We get to use three wood to improve the camp. So I can't believe the camp value is still not broken five this entire game. Um, okay, that's fine. So we've got five food. Uh, will, will Connor will Connor eat? Frankly, I don't care. For he will eat at least. So he's no longer hungry. So that's one food. Um, we'll feed Fabio, that's two food. Um, and let's feed the nerds, three, four, five. So Dexter is gonna be hungry, and Gilligan and Ruby are all gonna be hungry. That's fine. And then the campfire, which we historically seem to keep rolling a one. Two, that's beautiful, that's perfect. Okay, so let's press on. It is day five. Oh, no, 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 what, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, let, let, let's keep these as they are, because that's fine. So, nerds, food, seven food. Keep forgetting to take the food down, but we're using all our food every day. Actually, sorry, it's six food, what am I saying? Uh, jocks on wood okay fine four wood and then the camp let's get a nice big roll here oh hang on I didn't even check to see if Ruby was going to work so will Ruby actually work on this job yes she will what did I roll a two so she'll improve the camp by three Perfect. Right, we've got six food, who are we feeding? We're feeding on nerds, of course we are. One, two, three. Um, we're gonna feed Dexter so he doesn't get to starving. Four. Five, sorry, and if we can feed Connor we can. Will he roll four plus? No, he won't, so we'll feed Fabio instead. 
Oh, no, no, no. We need to feed Ruby because she's hungry. Okay, cool. So, Gilligan is fine. Connor is no longer bruised, but he will be hungry. Dexter is fine, but Fabio will be hungry. Um, and the nerds are all fine. Right. That's food. Let's do our campfire roll. Six. I'm not liking that, but it's fine. Um, and that's the end of the day. Day six. Um, Ruby, will you slack off? No, she's she's getting better. Um, let's keep the same. I think. I keep forgetting to take the food now. But let's let's keep the same. We're doing all right now. We. Have, I was about to say we haven't had any events in a while. So the nerds will get island event sixty four. Um, what's happened here, nerds? Sixty four. Jungle madness. One of the castaways can't take it anymore. This jungle, the heat, these people. They scream and flee into the wilderness. A victim of jungle madness. Roll at the end of today and each day afterwards. On a one to two. Okay, so someone's going to run off. So it's between the, th the three nerds. Which one? Which one has jungle madness? It's going to be number three. So, Luca, I'm sorry. He's out for now. So, what happens then? At the end of each day, um, on a one to two, they return and wreck up the place, <laughs> lowering the camp value. On a three to four, okay, fine. So, I roll at the end of each day. Let's make a note so I don't forget. Uh, one to two, they wreck camp value by three. On a three or four, nothing happens. On a five plus, they return. Okay. So Luca is out in the jungle, doing what he needs to do. It's, it's probably just part of his process for coping with this trauma. It's been a pretty tough uh, six days for him. Um, but we do still get the job done. So I rolled a one. And uh, there's still two remaining. So we will get three food. Which I would like to be more. But that's the world we live in. Um, right. Wood. Four. Um, so that's going to be six wood. Let's learn to add up. And then who's on the camp? It is Ruby's working on the camp with Connor, Gilligan, and no, it's just those three, isn't it? So D6 plus three for the camp. Ah, seven. Look at this. So our camp value, we're going to use seven wood. And our camp value is now 13. And remember, that means we've got actual wooden structures to sleep in. Now the cat begins to work on luxuries such as furniture. So we're getting there. So at 25, we can launch the raft. And I'm going to suggest that as soon as we can, we launch the raft because life is too short. You've got to live dangerously. I'm confident now. This is a bad place to be. Hmm. Right, food. We have three food. We're gonna feed our hungry people. One, will, will Connor eat the food? No. Um, I'm gonna feed our nerds. One, two, three. At least down to feed Luca now. He's off in the jungle. He's catching his own snakes and eating them straight off the tree. So, we've used all our food. Barnaby, Amari, and Fabio, you're fine. Dexter 
is going to be hungry. Connor is going to be starving, and Gilligan is going to be hungry. Ruby, I'm sorry, you're also going to be hungry. Yeah, it's, it's been a tough, tough day, but here it is, day seven, which means we get a weekly event. We've made it through one week on the island. Let's see. Weekly event number 25. Now, the weekly events are very mixed from what I remember. They can be a bit anticlimactic, I won't lie to you. 25. Summer nights. <laughs> Tell me more. So the nights are particularly warm. So only one wood is used on a campfire each night, regardless of the roll. The roll is still made to determine if there is a camp event. That's good. So things are looking up. It's nice heat. We don't need to use as much wood on the campfire. We can use it all for building the raft. Let's get the fuck off this island and then we can all get on with our lives. So, I also roll at the end of each day for Luca's Jungle Madness, which I'm not thrilled about because I can just tell this is going to be an ongoing issue. Oh, no, it's a five. So, what did that mean? Um, they return to the camp looking like a shadow of their former self they are removed from any cliques and they gain the slacker weakness oh no he's like a shadow of his former self so he's still smart but he's no longer a nerd he is gonna be a slacker i'm gonna put him right down here next to ruby but yeah if he if he slacks off it's it's like he's running out into the jungle again he's having a relapse and going feral Okay, that's fine. So, we're on day seven. Let's do our... Um, I've lost track of where I am. Food. Food. Okay. Six food is fine. Wood. Ah, oh, look at this. Beautiful. So that's eight wood, but you know, you can't eat wood, but we are trying to get off this island. Camp value, four, not bad. So who's on the camp? Oh God, well, Connor and Gilligan, but they're not gonna be working, are they? Cause Connor's starving and Gilligan is just gonna stay with them. Uh, Ruby, and Luca. So I rolled a four, but let's see. Are there slacker rolls? Three. So there's no one actually to work at the camp, so that four is wasted. So Luca runs back off into the jungle. Ruby, come on, you're hungry and you're not working the camp. So no work happens at the camp. Fine. Food. I need to feed the starving people. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. I'm sorry, I'm not going to feed the slackers. Oh, no, I need to feed Ruby, don't I? Well, let's not feed Dexter then. So Ruby gets fed. But now Luke is going to be hungry. Um, they're both fine. Dexter's going to be hungry. And they're both fine. Okay, so they've all eaten. We've got two hungry castaways. We're gonna roll for the campfire. We're gonna get a camp event. But we, we burn one wood anyway, so that's fine. A camp event is 62. No, I think, uh, I think I've seen what we've got. Is this the right one? Yeah, camp events. This is my island. One castaway gets sick of it all and decides to try and seize power. So who is going to be going mad with power? How many do we... We have eight left, don't we? Who's going to try and seize control of the island? Number eight, really? 
because that's Luca, and I think maybe Luca is not the best person to be leading our group right now. Um, so what happens? Roll and add social, sports, and spunk, which is everything that Luca doesn't have. Um, and we'll see what happens. Okay, cool. So let's see. How does his coup attempt go? A four. Oh. Right, so Luca spends the day doing nothing but walking around like they own the place, eating an extra food and using one wood to build a shoddy throne. At the end of the day, another character overthrows the rule and becomes their enemy. So... You haven't got an extra food to eat, Luca, so you can forget that. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we've already eaten, haven't we? I should have taken that down. Um, but he's going to use an extra bit of wood. So yeah, he thinks he's... Because he's seen some stuff in the jungle, that now he's like... Fit to rule. So who overthrows him? That's the question. Um, I, let's see. Number two, it's like Battle of the Nerds. Amari. So they become enemies. Oh, they were once they were once part of that dream team of nerds that got everything done. And now Luca's gone mad in the jungle and Amari they hate each other. It's Shakespearean this is. So enemies remind me. When the two castaways work together, they will argue so much that on a one to three, the group gets no work done. So don't put them together. That's fine. Okay, let's let's press on. It's day eight. Um, I think we'll keep the same. Um, yeah, we'll keep the same jobs because there's going to be enough people on the camp now to actually do it. How are our slackers going to do today? So Luca's going to work. Ruby's slacking off. Um, but Luca will will work. So let's let's do it. Barnaby. Oh, six on food. So that's going to be eight food, enough to feed everyone. Perfect. This is this is the day. Wood. Three. Okay. 3 plus 2 will give us 5 wood. Now, we need this to be a good roll for the camp. Come on. 6. Look at that. So that's going to be 9 wood going into the camp. Oh, what did I just do? So our camp value is now 22. We're getting there. We can nearly build a raft. We might make it. Um, okay. Okay. That's all the jobs, um, no events, which is great. Um, food, we can feed everyone, but will Connor actually eat it? Is that That's the question. No, he doesn't want, now that there's food, he doesn't want it. But you know what that's gonna do? It's gonna make him hungry, but we are in a rare situation where we actually have one food left over. It's the first time on this island where we've actually had food left over. I didn't do the day did I? so it should be day nine. Um, okay. Let's see if there's a camp event. There's always a... What's going on with these guys? There's always a camp event. Well, we're going to use one wood on the campfire. Camp event number 24. Camp events are up here. Maggots. Oh! <laughs> so, like I just said, we are in the rare situation for the first time ever... We have one measly portion of food that we can keep aside as storage. And the event that I roll is maggots. The food pile has become completely infested with maggots and all other nasty pests. All food is ruined. It was nice while it lasted, but we now have no food. It's fine. At least we hadn't done a massive stockpile. That's the thing. And at least no one died. Right. Next day. Day 10. What am I doing? Slackers. 
both the slackers are working. This this could be. I don't want to jinx it. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. Let's roll for food. So there is an event for food. 34. I jinxed it. Camp event. Uh, island event. Sorry. Number 34. Bear! <laughs> no! <laughs> the bear's back. Just as I thought we were doing all right oh characters with sports automatically escape every other character has to roll and the lowest ones get eaten so it's barnaby and omari pursued by a bear i'm sorry omari you are bear food barnaby the last survivor of the nerds is it is it even really a click if it's just you barnaby you're the last nerd standing <laughs> after the bear attack and um, there's no work gets done so we've got no food but that's fine we don't need food we need wood and camp value because we're we're getting off this rock okay wood two okay i don't mind it's gonna be four wood and then this is the important one camp value we're adding four to this roll okay six that's fine i'll take it yeah so luke luca your enemy is dead yeah so luca has gone out into the jungle and then coincidentally the next day a bear bursts out and kills his enemy it's um this is the kind of emergent storytelling that this level of game design can get you <sighs> okay so let's let's not feed any or we can't feed anyone um so everyone is going to be hungry people who are hungry are going to be starving Oof, okay we've got some starving people um and let's let's do the the camp event no well let's not get a camp event yeah six so we, we burn one wood because it's the summer nights are still in effect now it's the next day it's day 11. remind me how this raft table works You can only launch the raft when your camp value is at least 25. Ours is 28. Roll DC to 6 and add 1 for every castaway manning the raft that is able to work. So we can take starving people with us, but if they can't work, they can't row. Um, plus an additional 1 for every castaway that has sports strength. And 1 for every point the camp value exceeds 25 by. So at the moment, our like raft modifier would be 3 from the camp. And then 4 five six seven eight nine so we'll be doing d66 plus nine and 60 is like getting off the island 50 is like maybe 40 is like keep rolling So what what did I say? Did I say plus nine? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, no, eight. So plus eight. Should we do one more day trying to use that wood to add a little bit more? Because if we can get it like to above ten and we can if we can feed some people, let's do that. Obviously, what's going to happen is some event is going to like wreck our camp, but let's do it. Let's have one more day. One day more. Like, let's do it. Um, so, the tension is palpable. We're going to keep the... Um, yeah, we're going to keep the same teams because if some people die without sounding horrible, I don't get. Um food 
three plus our one person on food that would be four food okay you know you know what you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna be retroactive here and say we don't need to worry about wood do we we just need to get <clears throat> we just need to get some uh, food so let's let's scrap that we'll pretend that didn't happen and nobody's gonna go get wood instead can the Fabio is gonna help Barnaby uh, no you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with it because he's a jerk to non nerds so it's gonna cause more trouble let's see we didn't do our slacker rolls neither the slackers are gonna work great um, so yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that for food. So Barnaby gets us for food. The jocks are on wood. But Dexter is starving, so it's just one of them on wood. Okay, three wood. And then the camp. So last ditch effort to build this raft. Uh, two is not great. And there's only one person that can actually... Oh, no, there's no one that can work it because both of the slackers. Ah, oh, I should have put someone good on the camp. So both the slackers slack off. Connor is starving and Gilligan won't work without him. So there's no one to build the raft. Okay, this might have been, this might have been an error. So we're going to get home. We've got four food to feed these people. I'm going to save the people that can do sports because that's our best chance of getting off the island. <laughs> so we're going to go one, two, and then I have to feed starving people. I think I think it's the it's the rule. You can't starve people to death. Connor and Luca. So everyone else is going to be starving. That's fine. So we have one, two, three. We have four people that can row. And we have three people that are starving. Um, let's burn some wood and hopefully not get a one. Okay, fine. We're gonna burn one wood. And then I think tomorrow morning, fuck it, let's launch the raft. So we're doing it. So our raft bonus is we get plus one for every every point that the raft we get one point for every point that the camp value exceeds 25 by so we get three points for that I'm going to write this down because I can't do simple maths um, and then we get one for every castaway man in the raft that is able to work so we have one, two, three, four that are able to work. So that gives us seven. And then we get plus one for each one that has sports. So that's another two. So that's nine. So we are rolling D66 plus nine. Right, here we go. Drum roll. Launch the raft. Uh, D66 plus nine. 35 plus 9 is 44 waves hit the raft as the castaways reach open water roll for each passenger and a one they are knocked overboard and drown after the storm calms they can roll on this table again okay so that's not ideal but it means we get to keep going um so we've got one two three four five six we've got seven people here one two three four five six seven are any of them going to get knocked oh fuck me <laughs> So, <laughs> number two. Oh, right, hang on. It's a bloodbath again. Fabio, gone. Dexter's fine. Connor's fine. Gilligan's fine. Ruby and Luca, you are both gone. I'm sorry. Oh, hang on. Let's let's not just delete them like they don't exist. These are lost at sea. 
Well, you know what? Ruby, I'm not bothered. I am I'm glad that we are rid of her because she was a bit of a liability. Um okay. We're down to a nerd, a jock, and two populars. So we have two <laughs> so what's our bonus now? It's three from the camp. Two from the two people who can row and one from sports. So we're doing D66 plus uh, five. Oh no, that's 26. The raft gets immediately crushed by waves and jagged rocks, reducing it to splinters of wood. All passengers roll and die on a one or two. Um, okay. Four castaways. Let's roll. Oh, God. Barnaby. Crushed. Crushed in a wreck. And Gilligan. Crushed in shipwreck. I mean, ship is perhaps a bit grand for this this raft. <sighs> and then, what was the other terrible thing that happens? Um, camp value is reduced to twenty. There's still time to attempt jobs, so you can do your jobs for the day. Let's let's look at where we are here. Look, camp value twenty. All that's left. Let's let's just take a look here. Well, we've got Dexter. D does he still count as a jock if there's just one? Where are these? How does a click work? No, they 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 remain as a jock still. Um, yeah, so it's just Dexter and Connor. Connor, how, how has Connor survived? He's the fussy one who won't eat the food. Dexter is the jerk who won't work with other people. Um, if we have one more day, we can potentially have one more attempt at getting off the island. If that doesn't work, we're going to call it a night and call it a failure. Um, there's still Oh, there's still time to attempt jobs. So <laughs> still, I, I like that they still just get on with the work. So, you know what? Food, I'm not bothered. They're both fed. We're not going to get any food today. No. Mm, yeah. No. Yeah. yeah mm. No, let's... Uh, I mean, we don't really need wood. We should, we should put them on together, but I don't want to risk Dexter ruining it. No, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm putting them both on the camp. Dexter, if you're on a one or two, you've ruined everything. Thank you, Dexter. So, these are both working a camp. No one's on food, no one's on wood. Um, we've got two people building the raft. 24. No. Okay, so they use four wood. Um, it's not quite enough to launch the raft. It needs to be 25 to launch. Um, we don't have any food, so they're both going to be hungry. Let, let's just try and do one more raft launch. Okay. How much wood do we burn? Um, it's two, but we only burn one because of the summer nights, which are going to come to an end because it's now day 14. So let's do our weekly events because it might be something great. 52. It could just be that we get saved. 52 on the weekly events. Diagnosis murder. A castaway is killed in the night. The group spends the next day trying to accuse each other. Well, it's not much of a murder mystery with two islanders left. So who's who's dead? Is it really that bad? Connor, yes. Thank you, Dexter. Connor is dead. Murdered by Dexter.
and let's tidy up this death register here. Murdered by Dexter. Yeah, so Lord Blackfang mentioned Dwarf Fortress. Dwarf Fortress was very much an inspiration for this, which you can probably tell. Um, so, yeah, he's hungry. Uh, tomorrow he's going to be starving, so we're going to have to spend a day getting food, but I quite like that we've just got this one castaway left now. We've got a very pure experience here. We don't have to worry about too much. So all he's going to do is he's going to go and get some food. He's going to roll a six, so he gets seven food, which is enough to last a week for this guy. Um, let's see how much wood he burns. Well, he's... he's hang on. Let's, let's feed him first. He's, he's going to eat because he's got, like, infinite food now. Um, he's going to burn three wood on the fire, which is not great. And then he's going to rest. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're in a tricky situation because we could just keep getting wood and then burning it is the risk here. So instead, I think tomorrow we just get the raft up to 25 and then send him out and hope for the best. So it's a new day. We're going to build build on the camp. A six would have been great, but we've only got one wood. So all he's going to do is use that last bit of wood to like put the final nail in the... Um... <laughs> yeah, Captain Lucky Luke, where did all that food come from? The night after he murders Connor in his sleep. Yeah, it's taken a dark turn. Um, our camp value is now 25. Oh, shit, no. Wait, let's let's not do that because I forgot a key thing where when you try and burn wood at the end of the day, if you don't have any wood, then you burn the camp instead. So this six is not gonna be going building the camp. This six is gonna be him collecting wood, but he's done well, he's got seven wood. And now we're gonna roll to see how much he burns. He just burns two, he's great. I love this guy. And then he's gonna eat a food. It's so much easier with one person. And then he's going to wake up the next day, day 16. Today, he's just going to... He's just going to work the camp today. Or should we just get more wood? I can't work out like the, the maths here behind it. Let's do one more day collecting wood. Three more wood. And then he's going to eat a food. And he's going to burn some wood on the campfire just two okay so we've, we've like slightly increased our wood pile now let's do it let's on day 17 let's roll for camp value so he's building the raft great he uses all of the wood to increase this to 29 He's going to eat a food, but then he's going to have to burn some wood. How much is he going to burn? Oh. So this would reduce the camp value down to 24 because he has to burn some of the raft to stay alive. The stream has now uh, been running for about almost 100 minutes. So... I'm going to pretend I didn't see that and that and we're going to pretend it was a four and he's going to instead have a camp value of 25 so tomorrow he can do it he can launch the raft and this is going to be our last attempt if he doesn't make it we're going to assume that he lives the rest of his life on the island so he gets no bonus from his camp value he gets one bonus from being a person and one from being sporty. So he's going to roll d66 plus 2 on the raft table. The final roll. Send me your energy. Ready? Forty-five plus two is forty-seven. So that's the the waves. So he has to not roll a one. 
That's fine. You can roll again. No, it's not good. The raft gets immediately crushed by waves and on a one or two, he dies. He doesn't die. He clings to the wreckage, gets back to the island. Cat value is reduced to 20. Morale is reduced to zero. And Connor, no, sorry, Dexter will live the rest of his days out on this island. Um, so we, we got to day 17. Um, 11 castaways died. So Ada the Dream eaten by a bear. Wilson, head nerd, eaten by quicksand. Uh, Anya was also eaten by quicksand. And Humbug the Prom Lord, all eaten by quicksand. The bear returned to take out Amari, suspiciously close to the time that Luca had been in the jungle. Um, and then on the first expedition with a raft, Fabio and Ruby and Luca were all lost at sea. And even after an, a further attempt to escape on the raft, the raft was crushed along with Barnaby and Gilligan. Finally, the day after the wreckage, Connor was found dead, murdered by Dexter. And Dexter, I believe he still continues to live on on that island, finding food from dubious sources and at least finally, he has some peace. Thank you for joining me for Print and Let's Play Teen Island. Like I said, this game is available on itch.io for free slash pay what you want, but I will not at all be offended if you get it for free because it has previously been available for free before I revised it. Um, and yeah, it's it's a little bit clunky, it's a little bit silly, but it's a window into the kind of games I was making in 2009 or whenever it was. And um, before I realised that like designer board games were a thing, because yeah, Captain Lucky Luke says this could be like if I could just make this into like a little app or something, it would be like a really silly little game. It's it's so much random chance. There's there's little bits of strategy to it but there's a lot of random chance the events are all over the place i wanted it to feel a bit like um dwarf fortress or oregon trail that kind of grim thing um as well as teen island there were two other ones there was a pirate themed one and a space themed one that kind of similar ideas so i might do a let's play with on them at some point in the future but um but yeah that's teen island um Thank you for joining me for this bonus stream. Um, I will be uploading this to YouTube. Um, and what I'm going to do, I think, I'm not saying I'm going to be doing streams every Thursday. But if I do stupid stuff like this, I'll try and keep it to the Thursday stream. So that the Tuesday stream is my, my prestige broadcast, if you like. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for joining me for this. Um, I think we got a decent story out of it. I'm, I'm glad that somebody survived. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for uh, for joining me. I'm still I'm still in shock at the results here, but thank you for joining me. And as usual, you can find out more at bastionland.com. You can support me on Patreon at Bastionland, and. You can join me on Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. BST for my regular stream where I actually talk about role playing games a bit more. Um, so, yeah, thank you and stay safe. Stay away from deserted islands.